Okay. So let's first determine if they are functions. So in part A, there's a bunch of ways you can think about it. By the definition, does every uh, x go to one y? Yeah. Another way students like to think about it too is that um, are the x coordinates repeating in part A? No, so that's good. That means it's a function. That's cool. All right. So since we have a function here, let's find the domain and the range. The domain is a set of all values of the independent variable. What are those numbers? Two, negative six, one, negative 12. You do not have to write these in any specific order. If you want to put them in increasing or decreasing order, that's fine, but not necessarily. Not necessary. Range. Done. Okay, let's talk about bad things. Bad things. Will Ferrell. Vin Diesel. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks plays Tom Hanks in every movie. It's Tom Hanks. So who are the good ones then? Yeah, actors? Yeah. You don't see Daniel Radcliffe. No, he wasn't great. He did his job. Yes, but he'll always be richer than all of us. So, well, so yeah. that's true too. But we wouldn't be Tom Hanks, so it still it still works out. All right, that's not the bad things I'm referring to. The bad things are students sometimes look at that and say, okay, well the smallest number is negative twelve, and the biggest number is two, so I'm going to write this as negative twelve to two. They try to write it in interval notation. Why is that wrong? Well, this is a set. It doesn't have to be an inequality. Too many numbers in the domain. This notation means all numbers between negative 12 and 2. So negative 11, negative 11.5. Negative 11.536, da, da, da. all numbers between negative 12 and 2. Are all numbers between negative 12 and 2 in our example? No. no, just these specifically. If you are talking about a finite number of elements, you just list them. This is called the roster method, a roster notation. Just like if you were in a sports team, a listing of the uh, players is a roster. Same deal here. But if you have an infinite range, then yeah, maybe interval notation is the way to go. But do not confuse these two. These are not the same thing. All right. Bye. Is this a function? No. Well, it is either all function or all not a function. It's not a function. It is a function because every x goes to one and only one y. It's okay if they go to the same y. That's fine. So 4 goes to 1. So does 6. So does 9. That's fine. So it's a function. So what's the domain? Domain. Range. 1. So we would just write one once. If you're just using the roster method or roster notation, you don't repeat numbers. You just leave it alone. How about site? Not a function. Why? 
Yes. 3 goes to 6 and a 0. That's not good. 